Hello, Sagittarius. It's time for your 2019. Oh, look at that. Going out of 2018 with some happiness. You're going into 2019. This is going to be the year forecast or prediction, however you want to look at it. Um, I won't be taking any personal readings until after... I won't be doing any until after January 13th, but you can sure send me a request for one. My email is below as well as my PayPal if you want to make donations. Up to you. Your first quarter of the month. Wow, you are really coming in there very nicely, Sagittarius. Everything's coming together to you, it seems. Let's see what the next quarter, the second quarter holds for you, huh? Looks like everything's going well so far. I really like this one. Everything's vibing. Everything's traveling the way it should. Ooh. Something doesn't really seem like the right perspective or something didn't seem like it was the truth somewhere. Maybe some perspective is all messed up for you. There's a little bit of hesitation right here when it comes to beginning something. Or starting a new adventure, one of the two. Then we got someone coming for the truth with the King of Swords. Uh oh, that's interesting. Let's see what this. So, uh, so why? Oh my God, my phone. How ridiculous. Okay, let's continue, shall we? We shall. By the way, happy birthday! If I didn't tell you that already. Everyone keeps confusing your birthday with ours, and that's annoying. I don't understand why that happens, but whatever. But anyway, yeah. Happy birthday, Sagittarius. I'm pretty soon you guys say happy birthday to Capricorn as well. Well, next time you see me, I'll be wishing Aquarius happy birthday. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> the first two cards for the first quarter, right? Seven of Cups in the High Priestess. Like, you're feeling fabulous in this first quarter of the month. But you also feel like you don't know what to do with yourself emotionally. Maybe you're emotionally drained. Maybe you're not sure about how to go on with things, right? Those are all pretty strong possibilities in this scenario. I think that you're trying to get emotionally involved somehow. You're trying to find that whimsical energy that wonder, that chance, the options, the possibilities, you feel like maybe they've run out a little bit, but you're not letting anybody know that. Like, you're like you're the necromancer and this is the high priestess, so there is a possibility you could bring back something from the dead. So that's really positive to see within the first quarter of the year next year, right? What is coming up in the next quarter, the second quarter of 2019? Ooh, there we go. Next two cards. Ew. There might have been some injustice that you were wrong about. Or someone didn't... Hmm. One cup's reversed. Huh. Give me a second, because I need to look at this. Like, let's see. This is with Libra. This could be a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. It's like between this I, bad perspective or even a lie, and this King of Cups who's reversed was really too involved with himself to really give a shit about anybody else. There was injustice. Like, maybe the wrong idea was given about what was injustice with this person. Or maybe this person just thinks that they had the right to act a certain way. Like, they didn't feel like they needed to pay up for anything. And, you know, bad karma on them for that. But I'm not really sure. I mean, they, I don't think that's you, Sagittarius. I think that's someone you're dealing with who still has an understanding that um, they're still going to get some shit coming to them. I get that vibration, right? Like, Or maybe that's the bad idea. Maybe you have, maybe there is an idea in the back of your head or someone who's dealing with you, possibly this person, that some injustice should come into play. And it's just like, no, um, that's wrong. That's, that, that's wrong, man. That's not going to happen. You can't wish injustice on another person. Just because you're in your feelings about it. And you're selfish. That could be the message right here for the second quarter. 
So, you know, your emotions are not the only ones who matter if you think emotions matter. Just like your opinion. Just because you want people to listen to your opinion does not make your opinion valuable. Nor do you have the right to ignore everybody else who has an opinion different than you. You know? With this hesitation of the fool. King of Wands. Leo Sagittarius. Aries. So, uh, a person of rule. Who's strong. Disciplined. Devoted to who and what he serves for. He is the ultimate ruler. Could be majorly Leo. Because the sun's right there. And also the King of Wands is usually Leo. Because they have to be. They, oh God, they have to be. They have to be number one with the attention. I can't stand not being the attention, you know? Oh! Let's see here. And what a, a victory! With the Six of Wands. You're pretty hesitant about gaining this victory. And this is you, Sagittarius. We need somebody else getting victory. Then for the last quarter, we have this Knight of Cups, right? Spellbind, charisma, coming in innocent like. Still a fucking lizard, but you know, it's coming in all poetic. Somehow he turned into a fucking bird up. Somehow he's a bird up here, just hawk eyes, being like, what the fuck do you want? And then here he's looking all scaly and shit. <laughs> just being like, trying to charm you, even though he's a lizard man. Very immature em energy, but he's definitely coming in. He's coming in. Possibly with the truth about how he feels, you know. Even after all this bullshit of wishing for something worse on somebody or expecting something, you know, it's just kind of like, you know, maybe he finally sees, uh, maybe I was wrong. This might be a reconciliation. Yeah, because he lost control in this situation. Aries' Ari card. Um, wanted to be an overlord a little bit too much, and, and it just didn't work out. Either they be, tried to become stifling or tried to control the situation, and it was like, there's no control here. Like, and, like, they finally come with the truth about it. You're going into 2019 with a lot of considerations. Balancing. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you're keeping secret about. Like, a lot of choices that you're keeping secret, right? Like, the first quarter of the lesson is, um, this lack of nurturing, I don't think it's helpful because it's keeping you living in secret, right? And it doesn't help you nurture yourself too much. Try to keep that in mind. The second quarter speaks of taking time to rejuvenate after, like, being really harsh or dealing with some crazy bastard <laughs> who, um... It's just trying to come in and start some... Li like, it seems like someone's being really selfish throughout their emotions. And somebody else needs... And there needs to be a break from that. There needs to be a halt. There needs to be a recharge. Not even a recharge. Just like a... Let me be at peace. That is all someone is looking for in this situation. But you also have to take a break in order to get your empress right side up. Because, you know... You learn over time that that's an issue for you if you don't relax. Which is hard to say because Sagittarius, I don't know when they do relax. My brother's one, honestly. Uh, down here, you have to communicate. Knight of Swords, he's coming in to communicate. He's trying to tell you, hey, just go in and say what you want to say. It's a lot easier than what you think. And this one's saying, like, this conclusion isn't really, um, ending the best, but it's ending. It's not going to be the way you expect it to be, because there's no control. The Emperor's here. Reverse. Like, the, the, the control isn't there anymore. And, um, 2000, going out of 2019 and 2020, we're looking at maybe a little bit of, um, disappointment. Maybe just giving up on a situation. Like, you're weighing your options really well. You were looking at things, you were keeping... Like, it, it's apparent you were trying to keep something quiet in what you were trying to decide, and then it was just like, oh, I'm not even trying anymore. I mean, that's what it comes down to. You realize, there, I mean, in the end, you realize there's really no control with how something's going to end, no matter what the fortune's coming up to be. So it's just like, eh, whatever. What, am I, what the fuck am I supposed to do? Nothing. I'll just... 
Let it go and see what happens, I feel like, is what it is. I think that's what you deal with in 2019. Sagittarius. I will talk to you guys in 2019. Love you. Bye-bye.